After the inception of mass media technology such as the radio and television, the phrase seeing is believing has transformed into a deeper means of belief. In a screen-filled world, vicarious experience is believing. There's a reason why the entertainment that Hollywood produces has been completely transformative on our culture and society, to the point of being a proto-government managing and directing how the masses behave and desire. Many who have dabbled in or around psychedelics and the culture around it are very familiar with the phrase set and setting. The setup that movie theaters have masters this concept. Dark to dim lighting, sound system that surrounds the room, demanding participants to tone down or outright remove distractions. This is carefully constructed to set the mood that is primed for the suspension of disbelief, which is the essence of all belief in the dim age. Much like hypnosis, in order for any of it to work, one must actively desire to be under the spell. The participant must accept the unreal to be real and voluntarily submit to the experience. The carefully constructed environment only primes the participant to readily give in. Vicarious simulation, much like hypnosis, achieves very real and visible effects. And quite frankly, this video is equally designed for you, the viewer, to suspend your disbelief and to ideally accept my belief and lens of reality. We have long passed the real and verged into the imitational copies of the real, the hyper real. The more we are immersed into the hyper real, the more we lose grip of what the real truly is. However, in the hyper real, there is no dichotomy of real versus fake. The fake has just as much of an impact as the real, and as a result produces ripples of monumental change that it becomes pointless to separate truth from fiction. For it all has been fleshed out and indiscernible from any objective standpoint. We now experience reality through screens, and thus every real-time historical event is now seen through this lens. As a result, there has been more and more suspicion to the authenticity of certain events, creating controversy and polemic discourse. Ultimately, the dividing line is those who suspend their disbelief to what is presented to them as reality and those who don't. Either can be wrong, however, the real has been forgotten. Ever since the technology of Photoshop has been invented, media manipulation has only gotten exponentially more prevalent. And now, with deepfakes becoming more and more refined, we will see constant skepticism of mass media.